and gentlemen. Merry Christmas, Mr. Potter. George, I'm an old man, and most people hate me. But I don't like them either, so that makes it all even. The Baileys have stood for something you have always wanted and are so jealous of. They're honest. To my big brother George, the richest man in town. Ruth, they can Bailey if you don't mind. Yes, yes. You're right, boy. This town's no place to live unless you're willing to crawl the potter. Now go get yourself an education and get out of here. What do you want? Me? Nothing. I just came in to get warm is all. What are you trying to do? Steal my girl? Why don't you kiss her instead of talking her to death? Why? She lights up like a firefly whenever you're around. Besides, Sam Wainwright is off in New York, and you're here at Bedford Falls. And all is fair in love and war, right? Remember the night we broke the windows in this old house? This is what I wished for. You're wonderful. Wonderful. Don't you have any romance in you? Sure, I had it, but I got rid of it. Out, you two pixies! Go through the door or out the window! What, this old thing? I only wear it when I don't care how I look. Excuse me. Excuse you for what? I burped. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. You're not paid to be a canary. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I feel so good I could spit in Potter's eye. Well, it's customary to bring your money with you. It's gone. Where'd I put it? Where'd I put that money? How about our money, George? Where's our money? They're just coming out of the board meeting. I'll have to call you back. George, George, we voted Potter down. We're still in business. No more we live like pigs in Potter's field. You know now almost everything you need to know about George Bailey, except for what has him at this moment down there wanting to die. You see, George, you really had a wonderful life. Don't you see now how bad it would be if you threw it away? We thank you for braving the weather this Christmas Eve, and you'll be glad that you did when you hear the story we have for you tonight. It's a wonderful life. Look, Daddy, teacher says, any time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. What's that? That's a Christmas present from a very dear friend of mine.